Welcome to our Vardim webinar. Uh, this time we want to show you some highlights of our Pro Tools and uh, the benefits that you get, get from using this. My name is Jens, I'm the product manager for our Pro Tools and with me we have one of our brilliant uh, Vardim experts, Johannes. Hello. And let's start off with what's Pro Tools. So Pro Tools is a set of tools that brings you new capabilities to your Vardim application or then boost your productivity to create your applications uh, faster and better. Uh, let's start directly with going into the first one. Uh, we have Wadin Designer here. Could you, Johanna, share what Wadin Designer is for us? Yeah, sure. Thanks, Jens. Uh, Wadin Designer is a tool for developing your UIs, uh, Wadin application UIs using drag and drop tools and uh, uh, graphical editor there. And I have a demo for it, but to save the viewers time and our time here, i am uh, actually pre-recorded it, the video, just to cut some uh, my thinking process and, and things that are not, not that interesting. And I also uh, selected an approach where I developed the same pretty simple form UI uh, first by writing it in, in a Java and then doing it with the designer. And the video is going to show this side by side. So right. on the left side, there's the Java and, and of course, we, because we are highlighting designer, it's, it takes the main focus there. And at some points we speed up the video to, to get to the end result uh, faster. And uh, let's go to the video. And we are developing actually a pretty simple form. Uh, the application is gonna, uh, or the view, application view is, is gonna be a flight search. So you select between uh, one way or round trip and you define the departure dates and so on. Okay. So pretty simple form. And when I start with the uh, Java side, what happens is uh, it will get quite in the same phase or pace with the designer. But as the video goes further, I, I, I get uh, farther and farther away with, with the designer. And in the end, we have to speed up the Java side a bit okay. to, to catch. And it was actually surprising for me because I'm, I'm quite seasoned Java developer myself and five, year, five years of Vardin experience and still uh, I was about twice as fast with designer compared to the Java, even with, uh, when I had practiced uh, the code, code itself and I had the clear, uh, clear design uh, layout picture in, in, in a PDF for, for myself. And I think uh, you see from the designer what makes it faster. That's, that's the kind of the, the main point for me, it's productivity. You can see I can, uh, I can select those uh, layout uh, expansions. Uh, I can edit the properties of the, of the components and align them. And I see the changes immediately. Yeah, from, yeah. The, yeah, from the Java edit, uh, uh, I have all, uh, also cut, cut kind of the checking of the browser where I have to I was writing this completely before I first tried, and even then I had made some couple of errors there. Yeah, so you don't have to switch any, any applications when checking what you have done. Yeah, and yeah. what it also helps, it helps for responsive design because I can, I can just resize the canvas there and see how it behaves with different screen sizes immediately there. Of course, I have That's those true. presets there I can, I can select, even though in this editing I'm, I'm just using one, one size, but I can, I can store multiple versions like desktop and phone version. Yeah, cool. Of course, I have the live preview, which I can uh, I can just take it outside the designer and see it in in the browser. But here, I'm using just, and I'm already ready here in the in the designer. So I'll, I'll I'm going to show here the live preview where I where I take the design to an actual browser. Okay. And there there it's ready. Now we have to speed up the Java a bit because. As you can see, it was not, not nearly even close to the end. So how long did it take for you to build, build this uh, It took about uh, 15 minutes with the Java and, and less than five minutes using the designer. That's very cool. Yeah. And you can use this as a, as a kind of a communication tool also because uh, you can share the design and you can show it. You don't have to have the application logic ready and you can mm make a prototype which is actually uh, usable afterwards. You don't have to throw it out because, because it's a runnable 
uh, Vani layout you can use in your application. So it's built for real development instead of just having it set, uh, in a kind of prototyping tool. Yeah, so that makes it pretty powerful. Cool. And there did the Java part catch up with the designer yeah, part. Yeah, in the end. <laughs> anyway, so we, we get to the same end result. Yeah. Okay, that, that was about designer. Uh, you wanted to show charts? Yeah, let's continue with charts. Uh, what in charts, the na name is quite self-explanatory uh, that uh, you get charts. A lot of applications need uh, charts in some way. Um, uh, if you want to make your data stand out so that it's easy to grasp and, and uh, show, then what in charts is the product yeah. for you. Uh, they are interactive and uh, quite beautiful and we have a lot of different charts types. Let's go through a few of them in our demo app yeah, application. Sure. Here first you see a basic column chart type. Uh, you can also have, for example, let's say line charts. Uh, let's open up one like this. Uh, you have your pie charts and we also have a bunch of uh, quite special ones. Let's say, for example, financial chart types like here, where it's candlestick. Okay. Uh, if you have a huge amount of data in your application, uh, you can quite easily brush through it with what it charts, as you have this handy timeline feature where you can uh, zoom in and zoom out and uh, scroll quite well on what data you see uh, and really focus focus on the in, uh, content of it. Cool. And all, all of this is uh, built with a uh, Java API, so it's very familiar for our Vadim users. It's with the sa same thoughts built. So you should be able to quite fast get into using it. Yeah. Uh, another one that I wanted to show you is uh, our one spreadsheet product. Uh, a lot of businesses work uh, quite a lot with Excel. Uh, a, lo a lot of like reporting and planning goes around building your Excel files in the office and and uh, sometimes you would like to integrate this into your Vadin applications. And Vadin Spreadsheet is the tool for you if you want to show, show your uh, Excel files in a Vadin application. So for example, here we have a Vadin Spreadsheet showing an Excel file. You have all the same uh, functionality that you have on. Uh, you're used to in uh, normal Excel. So you can, for example, update the cell values and all everything updates uh, accordingly. You have all the uh, formulas in use that you can type and uh, conditional formatting for example which you can uh, see for example here and then you can show charts also in them. And uh, you can basically throw any, any XLSX file at it and it will render it in your application. You don't need to install any uh, plugins to show this, this is a native Vadin component. Another cool feature actually in the demo of Vadin Spreadsheet is that you can go to this upload Excel file demo and upload your own Excel file just to have a look at how uh, Vadin Spreadsheet will render your Excel files. Then let's go over to Testbench. Well, actually there was one uh, question in the forums uh, live just a moment ago about the designer code. So okay, let's take I can show in my, from my screen what the designer code looks like. So the question was about, uh, can you show the designer code? Mm. Uh, I think it was about the design itself and not the Eclipse plugin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the Vardin declarative format. So it, uh, it is not a designer custom format. You can write this by, your, by just hand and store it in an HTML file. Of course, no one wants to write. Well, I'm, now I'm offending someone. Of course, someone will <laughs> write this by hand, but the designer is uh, better for that. So you have the same, the hierarchy is represented by the XML and, or the HTML format, and then you have custom tag names for, for different components. Yeah, and the uh, uh, format is quite strict in the matter that every component has its own on tag, and in that way it won't be jumbled up uh, very much so it will always stay quite quite clean yeah, this sure. HTML. Yeah. yeah this this is pretty pretty uh, pretty short file and you add your custom logic always in the Java file so you, you are not touching this file if you add some logic or or data binding or stuff like that so 
in this, uh, that sense, it's it's built for kind of real development. Yeah. Um, Wadin Designer creates a Java file for you, which you should use yeah. uh, in the, as a reference, and, and that one will read in this HTML template yeah. and render it on your screen. Yeah, and I'm showing it here in Eclipse, but it's available for IntelliJ. I don't remember if I uh, mentioned it, but it's available mm -hmm. for IntelliJ too, for you idea lovers. Uh, I would like to use idea, but I don't know how to, so I have, I'm stuck with Eclipse. <laughs> Sure, but yeah, you mentioned test bench, so let's mm. let's go to the test bench. Instead of video, I'm going to show it live here. I hope it works. Like every demo, it, it might have some issues. Um, so what I have here is I have an um, application, pretty simple application, uh, this kind of mini CRM application where you can add customers, and this is just test data here. You can filter and, and so on. So uh, I'm going to add, uh, run a couple of automated UI tests with Vaadin TestBench. Vaadin TestBench is a tool for running UI tests yep. to your application. So it basically simulates a user clicking your application through and it collects the results. You, you use Java API kind of uh, just JUnit style, you do unit test, but, but you're actually writing automated UI tests or integration tests. So the application is running, so, so I'm going to run here just from my ID. Of course, I can run this in the command line using Maven or Cradle or whatever, but I'm used to using Maven. So the test run starts, and for each case, it's going to uh, separately start Firefox here. Runs through the test and validates whatever I have set in the test. For example, yeah. test delete customer is removed from list. So now it creates a unique customer, selects it, deletes it, and tests that the customer uh, entry is not there anymore. Testing that it should save modifications and so on. So doing the actual testing that most of the time we'll leave to the testers the developers, yeah. or in really bad cases to the customer. Yeah. So you can see here in the bottom of the screen, you're getting green ticks on, on all the yeah. tests that have passed and everything that's Luckily, Luckily, this passed now, so <laughs> <laughs> uh, we don't have a demo effect here. That's a good one. Yeah. And what it means for test, uh, what it means as benefits, of course, is, is better quality. So. I'm running these in development time here in my IDE, but you can you can do it in uh, using just well. I'll stop the test run here. I think you you got the idea, and I'll show you what it looks like. Just I have a really uh, basic uh, setup of of Jenkins here. Nothing fancy. It's running in localhost, and I have run this test earlier, so it it shows it. Just the test result here. I had ten tests. Here mm. and, and everything passes. Okay, so this was passing tests. Uh, let's say now I'll introduce a subtle bug in my application. Okay, this was using actual um, actual backend, so it was using uh, uh, just JDBC connection, yep. and I'm mapping the column names in the database and and the fields using just what in data binding, which means that it relies on the field name here. Okay. So if I, if I go now to the designer and I'll edit this last name field name, which is going to be the actual Java type name now in the Java file, uh, I'll save it. It still compiles. Yep. But it's going to fail the tests. Okay. And I know beforehand what it actually is going to fail. So instead of running the the whole uh, whole test suite here, I'm going to just take a look what it was when editing. I think it was this one. Let's see. So running the test again, boots Firefox. And it fails. And I can see from the test code here that 
actually the form get last name field here wasn't what it supposed to be. So I'm entering Tyler Durden and I'm expecting when I select some other uh, entry from the, from, from the list that it doesn't contain anymore the same name I added there. Yeah, but because it wasn't bound, it basically just takes my input and leaves it, leaves it as such. And this is affected also, I can show you, I, I'm not gonna probably uh, go through the whole test run, but now I have it here in my modifi uh, modified here. So as you can see, the Java type name changed also. So I'm gonna commit this to my, I made a huge mistake. <laughs> And I'm going to push it to my local master, which is going to local setup. I have a uh, post receive hook here that is monitored by Jenkins. So Jenkins will probably soon see that it should start. Let's go here. Yeah, it should start a new build. And we can see from the console output. And as you can see, I don't have a browser here running. So I'm running this test headless using phantom.js. Mm. And that's the way you want to do it in, the, in your continuous integration. And this is about the quality I was talking about. So I was just doing the, it was Friday, I pushed the changes, left home. And I didn't run the tests on my local machine. So I didn't see there was an error. Instead, uh, I just pushed it into the kind of our build and it broke for everyone else. Yeah, and this is a problem that you probably don't notice that easily, like the code compiles, you just change yeah. the field name and it shouldn't affect anything, but in the end there was yes. something. And it was, it was actually in the UI level, yeah. so even if you have integrated this to your backend, your business logic, your DTOs, whatever uh, uh, database mm. entities, you don't see the change breaking anything because it was just in the UI level, binding, binding of the data. So this is what TestPens is perfect for, uh, doing end-to-end -end testing and noticing, noticing the errors before you have, to do, you have to notice it in the kind of production. Okay, so this is running actually now the tests. I don't think we are gonna, oh, what do you think? Should we wait the results? Well, you can see here that it uh, automatically triggered now a new run of the test and yeah. it's running the test there uh, locally at the moment. Yeah. Okay, so I'll go and just Revert my change. Ah, sorry, I wasn't the designer in here. I'll, I'll fix this locally now. I know this is my huge mistake. And I'm gonna run this test again. Yeah, this runs now locally. Yeah. Locally, yeah. yeah. Not in the CI. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, you can choose any browser that you want here that uh, Johannes has now used headless testing and uh, Firefox. Yeah. And, uh, but you can, you can run, for example, Chrome or IE yeah. as well. Basically any platform, any, any browser, you can even test mobile browsers. And yes. Uh, this covered just the basic, kind of the core idea of TestBench, running your integration tests. You can do parallel testing. You can do screenshot testing. Mm -hmm. uh, you can e even kind of monitor the performance by, by timing the, how much it takes for the round trip and so on. But this covered the basic, basic step that I think is the most valuable and, and uh, beneficial for, yeah. for developers. And we see there now that you got the green color yeah. for, for passing test after you fixed it. Let's see what happens in Jenkins. Okay, so now it failed to two tests. Okay, which I put. You my, I did my report yeah. there as well. It's the yeah. same. It's the same test, and then there was another one that that fails because of my huge mistake. Awesome. Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> that's awesome. That's yeah. very good. Okay, so that's that's for the demo. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. And that was uh, all the tools that we wanted to show you. Uh, you can of course take trials of all our products. Uh, they are available on our homepage. I think you're gonna love them. I think this was all I want to say. Yeah. Thank you for joining and hopefully we see you around in the community. Yeah, thank you.